Welcome to Weld.com. I want to show you something kind of kind of trippy here. Shout out to my good buddy Tracy Gaylord at Southern Star Pipeline. He came in and did a, a demonstration one day. A lot of pipeline safety, regs, codes, a, a lot of good stuff, good information. Very interactive session we had with the students. He's a, he's a strong supporter of the program here. So um, what we did was, you know, we're talking about hydrogen and brittlement. Okay. Some of you think, uh, you know, no big deal. It's gonna, it's going to uh, boil off, you know, when you weld the heat of the weld and everything. But I'm going to show you uh, if we can duplicate this correctly. I'm going to run a cellulose type rod. I'm going to run an E6010 5P plus. Um, and some of you have said, well, you know, they run better if you dip them in water and that kind of stuff. And they kind of do. If they've been old and crusty, you can kind of moisten them up and they do have the art characteristic is good. And then I'm going to run right on another sample here. I'm going to run a 7018 H4R. And there was a recent post out uh, on Instagram. And it was like, well, what's that H4R mean? Well, it has to do with the resistance of hydrogen entrapment and, and the allowable parts per million. So the attempt here is to make a bead with a cellulose rod and a bead with a 7018. I'm going to leave them hot, and I'm going to put them in mineral oil. And I want the hydrogen to boil off. You'll, you'll see hydrogen bubbles boil off the cellulose rod. You'll see very, very little, if any, on the 7018. So let me get my gear on, and I'm going to run a couple of beads. I'm probably going to use, there's, there's a, this test is documented at room temperature mineral oil, and it's also documented at 250 degrees with the mineral oil. I have no way of accurately heating up mineral oil right now during this video, so I'm just gonna leave them both. Um, anyway, we, let me get my gear on. We'll run a couple beads. We'll drop these samples in mineral oil and hopefully we'll get some hydrogen boil off of it. Be right back. Welcome back. I went ahead, I had two samples, a quarter inch. Again, it's just a it's flat steel. And I went ahead and took the mill scale off of one side. Uh, the first run I'm going to do is the 6010. I'm running off an of ESOV Renegade 80 amps. And then I'm going to run a 332nd 7018 H4R at 80 amps. I'm not going to change anything up. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is go off camera and buff the slag and get these where they're clean. And I'm going to drop each of the samples in two separate containers of mineral oil. So first run is the 6010. So I ran the 6010 first, <clears throat> I ran the 7018. I'm gonna go take a wire wheel and just knock all the slag and stuff off of them, drop them in the oil. Be right back. Welcome back. I, I did these welds and I cleaned them up. I just hit them with a wire wheel is all. Immediately dropped them into the mineral oil while they were hot. And I may have, you know, I could have heated them up some more gently, but Almost immediately, we see bubbles coming off of the 6010 bead. We have nothing coming off of the 7018 bead. So I'm going to let these sit for about another five to seven minutes, and we'll come back, shoot some B-roll, and talk some more. Be right back. So we let this sit for a little bit, and uh, we've actually got 
hydrogen bubbles coming off of this thing and you can see them rolling off. I don't have anything over here on the, on the low hydrogen bead at all. So, you know, we're not, we're not proving anything. We're not measuring the amount coming off of here. It's just an awareness of hydrogen embrittlement. Where does it come from? You get to welding on some, some critical alloys and fittings, uh, you might want to be aware of this. How do you get rid of the hydrogen? Well, preheat is one. A generous preheat would get rid of a lot of it. Um, uh, you know, with your cellulose rod, you want to do a preheat around some thicker sections, some fittings, whatever. You know, it's just something, it's something to be aware of. There are some codes and standards when you're getting into pipeline work that uh, your heat input, uh, wall thickness versus pressures versus, there's a lot of variables in here. Again, the whole video was to point out, you know, we've got hydrogen boiling off of a cellulose rod. We don't have anything boiling off of a low hydrogen rod. So, kind of interesting. The students really liked it when it was shown to them. A little awareness thing. So, uh, you know, I, I learned a little bit on here, and this is kind of cool. It's creating some, some patterns over here with this hydrogen. Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the videos. Bob Moffitt with Weld.com. Thank you. <laughs> I like the telemarketers that call. I'm going to speak to Robert Moffet. Don't know who that is, man. You got the wrong number. Ready? Yeah.